Hey guys, this is Vadim, and welcome to Apple Insider. So I'm sure you've heard some of the rumors over Apple's upcoming iPhone SE 2 gaining Face ID with the True Depth camera system that was introduced with the iPhone X. Some may think this is not likely to happen, since Face ID is a top of the line feature, but let's go over some of the reasons why it's actually a great idea. First of all, Apple is heavily invested in Face ID hardware and software production, and if this iteration of the iPhone SE won't pack the True Depth sensor, it could be another couple of years until we see another SE model. Face ID in the True Depth sensor array has been a huge success, leading to the iPhone X being the best selling smartphone since its release. We're expecting more iPhone models to pack the True Depth sensor array when the main lineup sees released this fall. There's even rumors of upcoming iPad Pros gaining Face ID, so if these rumors are correct, an iPhone SE 2 without Face ID could be left in the dust. The iPhone SE is the cheapest new iPhone you can get, starting at $349. So you may argue that the iPhone SE's price point is too low to incorporate Face ID. But this could actually be a great reason for the SE 2 to come with it. If Apple wants to go full force into the future with True Depth and Face ID, it makes sense to offer it across a wide range of devices. There are currently many users who are held back from Face ID because of the massive thousand dollar price point for the iPhone X. So a True Depth camera system on their cheapest iPhone model would make the transition to widespread Face ID use much more seamless. If the iPhone SE 2 doesn't get Face ID, it'll most likely stick with a small rectangular screen, which will feel seriously ancient compared to the new iPhone models that will be packing the True Depth camera system. iPhone SE users love it because of its small form factor and original design. Face ID would allow a full face screen that will offer much more screen space while keeping the small form factor. On the other hand, many are saying Apple is unlikely to equip the SE 2 with Face ID because they're trying to keep costs for this model at a minimum. So there is a possibility that Apple will offer two SE 2 models, one with true depth and one without. The original iPhone SE was released in March 2016, and it's already been over two years since then. There's rumors of the SE 2 being released alongside the upcoming iPhone lineup this September, and I'd have to agree with those rumors. It's completely unlikely that they'd reveal or release the SE 2 at WWDC this June, since they've always waited until September to reveal their new iPhones. But we are expecting Apple to reveal some new iPad Pro models alongside iOS 12. Let us know your thoughts on the iPhone SE 2 gaining Face ID in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.